Bill, what do you know about Sir Francis Bacon? Sir Francis Bacon was born January 22, 1561 and was an English philosopher, statesman, scientist, jurist, and author. He served both as Attorney General and Lord Chancellor of England. Although his political career ended in disgrace, he remained extremely influential through his works, especially as philosophical advocate and practitioner of the scientific method during the scientific revolution. Interesting, tell me more about his life's work. How was he viewed by his countrymen? He became known as a liberal-minded reformer, eager to amend and simplify the law. He opposed feudal privileges and dictatorial powers, though a friend of the crown. He was, against religious persecution. Where did he stand on the unification of England and Scotland? He advocated the union of England and Scotland, thus being one of the influences behind the consolidation of the United Kingdom, and also advocated, later on, for the immigration, of Ireland into the Union. Yes, I believe his work changed the course of science in history and made possible the industrial revolutions of, the following centuries. Indeed, he was considered to be the philosophical influence behind the dawning of the Industrial Age. In the two centuries following 1800 the world's average per capita income increased over tenfold, while the world's population increased over sixfold. I believe this led Nobel Prize winner Robert E. Lucas Jr. to say, quote, for the first time in history, the living standards of the masses of ordinary people have begun to undergo sustained growth. Nothing remotely like this economic behavior has happened before. End quote. You said earlier that his political career ended in disgrace. What happened? He fell into debt, and a parliamentary committee, on the administration of the law, charged him with 23 separate counts of corruption. He was sentenced to a fine and committed to the Tower of London. The imprisonment lasted only a few days and the fine was remitted by the King. He was now not able to hold future offices or sit in Parliament. He narrowly escaped undergoing degradation, which would have stripped him of his titles of nobility. What were the circumstances surrounding his death? I understand it was in the name of science. Yes, he was conducting a scientific experiment. He was trying to determine if snow would be able to preserve meat. During the experiment he caught a cold from the extreme weather. And was never able to recover. He subsequently died of pneumonia. Well, I think it is fair to say that Sir Francis Bacon was an honorable statesman whose works contributed to the Industrial Revolution, in the name of science.